In 2017, uh, Dr. Shanna Swan and colleagues conducted a study where they found that sperm count in Western countries had been decreasing by 59% since 1973. These findings have been consistent with previous studies done in the 90s. In this video, we're going to talk about why is men's sperm count decreasing and is there anything to do about it? Dr. Swan was also recently on the Joe Rogan podcast where she talked about her new book, Countdown. She says that if you look at the projection, sperm count in men is going to reach zero in the year 2045. That's only two decades from now, which is a very scary idea to think about. Here are a few excerpts from Dr. Swan's website. Worldwide fertility has dropped more than 50% over the past 50 years. A man today has only half the number of sperms his grandfather did. In some parts of the world, a 20-something woman is less fertile than her grandmother was at 35. Homo sapiens already fits the US Fish and Wildlife Services standard to be considered an endangered species. <coughs> it's also been noted that the testosterone in average men has been declining by about 1.2 to 1.3% every year since the 80s. Even if you are not worried about having children, poor sperm count is associated with overall mortality and chronic medical conditions. So having good sperm is just a sign of overall vitality and health. So why is sperm count decreasing? Why do men have less quality sperm than they did in the past? Our living environment has gone through massive changes over the past few decades since World War II. Most people are now a lot unhealthier, they're more overweight, they sleep less, they exercise less, they get less sunlight, they're more stressed out and exposed to more chemicals. According to Dr. Swan, one of the main culprits are chemicals, plastics and pesticides. These chemicals include phthalates, bisphenol A or BPA, flame retardants and other xenoestrogens. They mimic estrogen in the body and can cause hormonal imbalances. Indeed, it has been found that phthalates might interfere with testicular function by reducing testosterone and IGF-1 levels. Increased phthalate exposure, which can be found in PVC plastics, cosmetics and personal care products, has been found to be associated with lower testosterone. Pesticides and herbicides such as atrazine inhibit spermatogenesis and reduce sperm quality. This is a defensive reaction to the toxicity of atrazine and other pesticides used on our foods. Atrazine has also been found to promote complete feminization and chemical castration in male frogs. Or as Alex Jones would say, Turn the friggin' frogs gay! Okay, maybe he's wrong about the gay part, but atrazine does feminize male frogs and it reduces their fertility. Do you understand that? So here are some of the main causes of low sperm count seen in research. Smoking and tobacco are associated with reduced sperm count and motility. However, one 2019 study found that sperm concentrations were higher in subjects who have smoked marijuana at least once in their life. There was no observed difference in past and current smokers. So you might want to do it at least once in your life because cannabis use in general has been found to be linked with worse male fertility. So you don't want to be doing it all the time. Excess alcohol consumption. Alcohol has a detrimental effect on semen volume. Moderate alcohol consumption as opposed to daily consumption appears to not have an adverse effect on sperm. In fact, one study found that semen volume and sperm count was higher in men who drank 4 to 7 units a week compared to less than 3. So you probably don't want to get hammered with 4 to 7 drinks in one night, but instead have like one drink every other night or so. Give me a keg of beer. Flame retardants in mattresses and foam furniture have been shown to lower male hormones and sperm count. It has also been found to seep into the food supply through animal feed, thus ending up inside the meat. That's why most of the factory farm meat tends to be more estrogenic, and the same applies to these full fat dairy foods, because, you know, cows, they're injected different drugs, and they tend to have also higher levels of estrogens and these xenoestrogens. Junk food does lower sperm quality and tends to promote obesity, which is also causing lower testosterone. However, not just the food, but the fast food packaging itself may lower sperm count because of the plastics found in wrappers and packaging. You can also get exposed to these xenoestrogens by touching receipts. Drinking water in a lot of US cities contains PFAS, or also known as forever chemicals. They're linked to increased risk of cancer, reproductive problems and organ damage. You probably don't want to be drinking bottled water either because of the xenoestrogens in plastics. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water! Too much heat, especially around the testicles, can reduce sperm count. That's why having a laptop on your lap has also been shown to reduce sperm count. Watching TV or sitting in front of a computer for too long has the same effects, because you're in this compromised position. Sitting with closely approximated legs is one of the biggest reasons for overheated testicles. So as a guy, it is healthier for your sperm and your hormones to be sitting with your legs apart. And uh, yeah, you can justify manspreading <laughs> with uh, trying to preserve your testicular function. Sauna use may also overheat the testicles. 
However, sweating is one of the only ways to actually excrete and detoxify these pesticides and xenoestrogens. So I think that it's still worth it to take the sauna in moderation because you're you know, excreting the xenoestrogens and at the same time you also increase your heat tolerance. So there is this hormesis bell curve. Some, some heat is still going to be beneficial by making your cells resilient against the heat in general. If you're really worried about it, then you can splash some cold water onto your balls while you're sitting in a sauna, or you can also use an ice pack afterwards to cool them down. I'm stoned off my balls! As you can see, the modern environment is not really supportive of fertility because of the poor lifestyle habits and xenoestrogens. I think that you should certainly be mindful of these things, especially when it comes to plastics. Most importantly, you have to engage in a physically active lifestyle that incorporates exercise, a healthy diet, enough sleep, sunlight, and regular detoxification practices like the sauna. But while you think, will the fertility rates drop to complete zero by 2045? And what will happen then? Let me know in the comments. But on that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay fertile, stay empowered. Ah, ah, serious crap!